This is a short video introduction for how to make edits in OpenStreetMap using the ID editor. Um, this assumes that you have already uh, created a uh, OpenStreetMap account and that you are logged in. Um, once you have that set up, it's pretty straightforward. Um, under the edit menu, you want to edit with the ID um, function. So if you go ahead and open that, what you'll see here is that you'll suddenly get um, satellite imagery. You can change what imagery you have. If you click on the layers button over here, there's lots of options. Um, we'll just stick with the Bing aerial imagery for now, but there's lots of different ones you can use. If you would like to add a um, rectangle, let's say you want to digitize some buildings, it's pretty easy. You can click on area and just start mapping. So just click every time you want to show a structure. do your best to try to capture it and double click when you're done once you have that structure set up you can right click on it and square off corners so if you want to make sure they're all right angles right at least the ones that are close to being right angles um, you can do that if you click on um, if you want to label this as just a building you can click on building features in a building or a house or however specific you want to be let's assume these are houses for now and we'll click on that and click on check and we're done we can do another one. So here's another area. This one's pretty straightforward. It's just a rectangle. We go ahead and square this one off. And you get a sense of how that works. It's pretty straightforward. And you'll notice that you even get a like frequently asked thing. If we wanted to, if we had information on what the address was, we could enter that in here as well. Um, we don't know any of those things. We're just um, digitizing from the imagery, just like that. Now let's just say, for example, that we knew that um, we had an area here, and we'll see if we can find it. So like, here's a pool, right, that we want to identify in some way. And we knew what, what the name of that pool was, and we wanted to, to give it a name. We can add a point, right? So if we click on the middle of this, and we add a point, and then it'll ask us, what is it that we are seeing? Um, we don't know what it is. Let's say we knew it was a park. We could click on park and then give the name of the park. I'm not actually going to do this because I don't want to confuse what's going on. But if you had a business, for example, and it was a restaurant, um, and you click on restaurant, you can give the name of the business, the address, the hours, um, all sorts of other information here as well so that you can say what it is. Um, again, in this case, I'm just going to ignore um, ignore that point. I'm going to get rid of that one. If I right click on it, I'll just choose delete. So we've made two changes. We just added those two buildings. Um, let's go ahead and click on save. We can enter a change set here. Added two buildings in East Athens, Georgia. And go ahead and click on upload. And that's really all there is to it. When you're done, it's done. You click on OpenStreetMap. You can go back and see the area you were in. In this case, I don't know if I'll see those two buildings yet. They probably haven't shown up in the, the underlying base map yet. But you get the idea of how this works. So good luck. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy to add data to OpenStreetMap.